with me, Annie Belton, fresh from winning a race here at Gloucester Park on Tuesday afternoon with Gotta Go Cabana. And I see she's in on Friday night at Gloucester Park. Yes, yes. Um like I say, it was my husband's decision. He said, oh, look, we'll put her in. There's not many in the field. It's a weaker field. And then, you know, you get a few others added to the field and then it becomes a, a good field. But um, she went well tonight and the heart rate was pretty good. So I can't see her being a problem her going on Friday as well. Well, she won pretty well. She did all the work in the breeze uh, here at Gloucester Park yeah. on Tuesday afternoon. And uh, she might have to have a hard run on Friday night because she's drawn out... Five? Yes, yeah. I mean, she's pretty tough, and I mean, if you watch watch a race, and she um, she does it with her ears pricked, and she doesn't even know she's doing it, sort of thing. She um, she just she did it quite comfortably tonight, so I was very happy with her. So th this is a heat of uh, oh the Lewis yes, uh, yes. pace. So you hope to get into the final? I hope so. Yes, yes. Got to go, Gabbana. That's an unusual name. You bought her at the sales? No, I bred her. Oh, you bred her yourself? Yeah. Oh, well yeah. done. I bought her mother at the sales yeah. and um, we bred her, so, yeah. Uh, so she's won almost 40000 now, so she's uh, paying away. Yes, yeah, she is, she is, and, you know, I think she's only going to get better. With um, She matures a lot more and she, she'll definitely be up there with the good ones, I hope. And so she's come back in this preparation in good form. She's won two in a row now. Yes, yes. Um, Obviously, you know, tonight was a perfect race for a, I, I, I thought she would win easy tonight, but um, you never know. Um, we, we were going to take her to Pinjara, then we decided, you know, Gloucester Park is probably more suitable for her. But the only thing that bothers me about Gloucester Park is the shadows when you race at this time of night. So, mm. but no, she was good. She was good. And the stable mate, uh, uh, Lady Dilla Renta, uh, she's been racing in wonderful form and how'd she pull up after a pretty tough run last Friday night? Yeah, yeah look, I mean, it was a torrid run and, you know, Chris, I don't know what, what he was thinking going back and she had to do a lot lot more than she should have and, you know, she, she broke up under pressure, obviously, but um, this morning, you know, I worked her and she's flying around a box and, you know, she's pretty pretty good, but obviously I won't start until next week. And uh, the Oaks is obviously her aim. Yes, yeah, she's she is a class filly, and she's she's got a lot of toughness to her. So um, hopefully, he drives her a lot better in the Oaks. <laughs> yes, I think she's got a good chance in the Oaks, which is coming up shortly. Yes. Thanks very much, Annie.